Hey, what's up everyone? Martin here, and today I wanted to show you something really, really cool. Uh, it's fun and and really, for me, I think it's awesome. It's one of the coolest things I've seen from the uh, volcano eruption in Iceland. What you're looking at is something similar that I did in the last video, which is like a satellite view of, of the volcano eruption area. But this takes it to a different level. This this is amazing what they did here. So what you're looking at is a small region where they photographed from an aerial perspective. And, and then they mapped it all together to create a 3D uh, visual representation of the elevation, the region, the, the, the volcano, the lava, everything. This was all captured on June 26th. It was photographed on an aircraft and processed uh, by the Department of Icelandic Institute of Natural History. And the models were developed in collaboration with the Civil Protection and Emergency Management of Iceland, the National Land Survey of Iceland, and the University of Iceland. So fantastic job amazing job putting this together so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make this full screen so we can all take and appreciate the clarity of this and with the mouse um i am going to move this around i'm going to click and then just drag up so then i can rotate the map like that and kind of like lower ourselves down into the uh, region and then I'm going to rotate just a little bit more so that we could just kind of then with the mouse scroll forward to zoom in and you can really see a lot more of the detail which is absolutely crazy and you can fly anywhere you want and for me I, I do a lot of drone photography and video so for me this is so so much fun I feel like I'm in the drone again and I'm just flying around the the volcano so you can pretty much go anywhere you want. I can zoom in even more. And this little region right here was where I was before. This was the closest spot to the uh, to the volcano, which now is only accessible by helicopter. And you can see how much lava, all this lava that has been coming out from the volcano and covering all this land. You can also see some of the trails that, have, that are now gone that I remember, like this one right here, it's it's completely gone. It's just like around the May uh, into June right here that you could walk through here and go up the mountain. It's completely buried now. But you can, you can also see the new ones, the new trails, which is pretty cool, which uh, if, you, if we zoom in back the parking area here, and then you can either walk towards this lava valley or then you can go to the left and walk up the mountain here. Um, and I believe this is the new path where you can see the zigzagging and it goes up the mountain and then you would be able to walk along this hill and then kind of see the volcano from this side. And then there's the other side which is the longer, more steep version here where you can see the trail. It's all along the tip of the mountain, this long mountain. And I believe you could get up to this hill here and see it from that side. So you have two vantage points, which is great. But this map is absolutely amazing. Fantastic job in putting it together. I wanted to show you something really uh, crazy that I had found here when I was zooming in. There's an airplane here <laughs> in the lava, and it looks like it landed on the lava. They must have just captured it when they were surveying this, this model or the photographs to put this model together and they caught the airplane while they were doing it. So I am going to put the link in the description to the to this map directly so you could see it. Make sure to check it out and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.